Rabasaya Bahandi. Rekabasato Logosaya. We worship you, Lord. The Bible says that wherever two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. Can you take a moment and worship you with all your heart? You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, God. Can you worship him with your own words where you are? Just take two seconds and say, Lord, I worship you. Yes, not for the things that you do, but because of who you are. Not because you gave me that miracle, but because you are God all by yourself. God all by yourself. God all by yourself. I was saying he is God all by himself. He is God all by himself. He doesn't need no man to sustain him. So sometimes whether you like it or not, he stays God. Whether you worship him or not, he remains God. The Bible says that he said that if you do not worship me, I will raise stones to worship me. Can somebody open up their mouth before we go right into it? I just want you to uh, give him the glory. Say, God, regardless of what I face, I give you the glory. I worship you because of who you are. We worship you, our Lord. <laughs> For you are worthy to be praised. Can you put those hands together as a sign of worship? Hallelujah. No, I'm not talking about Sister Deborah. I'm saying the King of Kings. I'm saying the Lord of Lords. I'm talking of the one to whom nothing is impossible. I'm talking about the glorious God. I'm talking about the undefeatable God. I'm talking about the capable God. I thought you were going to do better than that this morning. I thought you were going to give a shout of praise to the Lord. Before you sit down, just step three people around you and say, God bless you. Yes, just spread the blessings around. And to those watching me virtually, Et God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. God has a word Merci for you this morning. You may be seated. I'm so excited to be here this morning. It is always a pleasure and honor to be standing right here and to speak on behalf of the Lord. Do me a favor and just let us go into the book of John. I don't want to take much of your time. Je ne veux pas trop de but temps. I believe that you will be blessed this morning. Que tu seras béni ce matin. Are you ready to be blessed? Es -tu prêt béni? Did you come in this place expectant? Es -tu venu dans cet A lot en of temps times temps we do not receive from God. Nous ne pas de Dieu because we don't expect parce anything que nous from him. Rien de lui. Hallelujah. John 11 verse 1. Jean 11, 1. To 35. To 35. And I'm going to ask you to stand up for this one. I have more other verses, but I just want us. This is my main verse of the day. Now, a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. This Mary, whose uh, brother Lazarus was sick, was the same one who put perfume on the Lord and wiped it with her hair. C'était cette Marie qui oignit de parfum le Seigneur et qui lui essuya le pied avec ses cheveux et c'était son frère Lazare qui so était malade. So the sister sent the word to Jesus, Lord, the one you love is sick. Les sœurs envoyèrent dire à Jésus, Seigneur, voici celui que tu aimes. I want you to underline that one. The one you love is sick. J'aimerais que tu soulignes celui que tu aimes. When Jesus had heard this, Jesus said, the sickness will not end in death. Après avoir entendu cela, Jésus dit, cette maladie n'est point à la mort. I want you to underline that one too. Je no, que it's for God's glory. Mais elle est pour la gloire de so Dieu. that the Son of God Afin que le Fils de may Dieu be glorified soit through it. Par elle. And I want you to jump very quickly Et que tu au plus vite. to 11. Au verset 11. The Bible says, la Bible dit, after he had said this, he went on and told them, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep. Has done what? Has fallen asleep. Asleep. Après ces paroles, il leur dit, Lazare, notre ami, dort, mais But je vais I le réveiller. am going there to him to wake him up. Mais je vais le réveiller. Amen. Amen. His disciples replied, Lord, ah, if he's asleep, then it's okay. 
If you don't have to come, 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 So then he told them plainly, Lazarus is what? He's dead. Et il a dit en, en, en s'amusant, Lazare est mort. And for your sake, I am glad that I was not there. Continue. Et pour sa maladie, je, je suis no, 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 no. God tells the disciples, Et for Dieu, your Dieu sake, dit, Dieu dit à ses disciples, 15, for your sake, I am glad that I was not there, so that you may believe. Et à cause de vous, afin que vous croyez, je me réjouis de ce que je n'étais pas là. Mais allons-y vers lui. Amen. Let us jump right into 20. On va sauter au verset 20. The Bible says, La Bible dit, Now Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem, and many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them for their loss of their brother. Lorsque Martha a appris que Jésus arrivait, elle alla, elle alla vers vers lui tandis que Marie s'était assise à la maison and, he, and she went up to Jesus to meet him elle alla vers Jésus pour le rencontrer and she said et lord dit, seigneur if you had been here before si tu étais là my brother wouldn't have died mon frère n'allait pas mourir can we give a hand to Jesus just for that you may be seated Jésus. amen vous pouvez vous asseoir my theme of today mon thème d'aujourd'hui don't limit God. Ne limite pas Dieu. Can we give a hand to Jesus for that one? Acclamer pour Jésus? Don't limit God. Ne limite pas Dieu. We serve a capable God. Nous servons un Dieu capable. A powerful God. Un Dieu puissant. And I just want to encourage somebody. Et je veux juste encourager quelqu'un. Who thought that it was over? Qui pense que c'était fini. I came fini. to tell you that it's not je over until God la says it's over. Jusqu'à ce que Dieu dise que c'est la fin. I don't know what situation you may be found in today, but I came to reassure you that if truly you serve a living God, that He's not yet done. With you. He's not yet done with your story. He's not yet done with that situation. Hallelujah. In Psalm chapter 78, verse 41, 78, 41, the Bible says again and again, they tempted God and they limited the Holy One of Israel. What is it that we do to this big God? On a fait à ces grands yeux. We limit him times and times and over and over. C'est que nous le limitons toujours et toujours. Do you know that? Vous savez que? What if I told you? Si je vous dis that there's more to God than what you've heard? Qui a beaucoup de Dieu que c'est que no, tu no, as no. entendu? There's more to God. There's more to God. Il y a plus que ça. Il y a plus que ça. What if I told you that what you have experienced is nothing compared si je te disais, to ce what is capable of? Si je te disais ce que tu as expérimenté. Let me, let me just rephrase my theme. Let me rephrase my theme. Laisse-moi redire encore mon thème. God is limited. Dieu est limité. God is limited the moment you limit him. Dieu se limite au moment où tu le limites. There's no way that God can do above what you believe in. Il y a aucun Am I talking to somebody this morning? Talk back to me. God is limited because we sometimes define him through our worst situations. We expected him to come at a certain time and he didn't come and we limit him. So why did I lose my job if he's God? Why did I lose my child if he's God? Why did I lose my relationship Pourquoi with this God? Perdu ma relation, si il est Dieu. Why are things not working? Why Pourquoi am I falling sick? Parles, And we begin to define God Et on commence à définir Dieu through the situations that we face. Les situations I traverse. came to tell you that God is Je bigger than that. If your problem is big, God si is bigger than your problem. Don't Dieu define God, God with your situation of today. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, God is bigger than that. Many times we define God by the worst situation. Of our lives. And we can see in the story. Martha and Mary went to Jesus. If only you were here, my brother wouldn't have died. So they knew that something would have happened. Something would have happened had Jesus came before. Si Jésus était là avant. And they did not believe that even after Et something can happen. Cru que même après and chose that's you and me sometimes. We tend to go into the storm. And we said, no, God is too late. Et nous disons, Seigneur, c'est trop tard. 
Am I talking to you this morning? Sometimes we tell God it's too late. And he's on his throne. He's like, you don't believe I can do that for you. And you know, the Bible, the Bible doesn't really tell us why Jesus wept. And a lot of people don't understand. Jesus did not weep because Lazarus died. Dieu n'est pas faible parce que la Non, 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 non. Il n'a pas pleuré. Il n'a pas pleuré. The smallest, il pas pleuré. The shortest verse of the Bible. Jesus le plus wept. petit verset de, de la Bible. Jésus pleura. Why did he cry? Pourquoi il a pleuré? Not because Lazarus died. Pas parce que Lazare était mort. But because he saw the ones he loved Mais cry. parce qu'il a vu les gens qu'il aimait pleurer. Mm. Am I talking to you? Est-ce que je te parle? God cries. Jesus Dieu, cries. Jésus a pleuré. When he saw Martha and Mary not Quand believing that he's able to raise Lazarus from the dead. No, sometimes you hurt God. Sometimes you hurt God by not believing that out of the worst situation of your life, something beautiful can come out of it. Uh, he's hurt when you don't believe that sometimes he won't allow you to have a testimony. He wants you to be the testimony. Am I talking to you this morning? Now, if he He's the one who healed. Si, il est celui qui he healed the sick. Il a guéri les he malades. healed the leopard. Il a guéri so why did he just come and heal The Bible says when the news la got Bible to Jesus, dit, quand la nouvelle est arrivée vers Jésus, he took more days to where he il was. A pris beaucoup de temps là où il était. Before he went. Avant so de he venir. was waiting for the situation to Et get il worse. Il uh, I'm dans telling dans somebody that sometimes God will wait for your situation to get worse and worse and worse. Not because he doesn't love you. You. He loves you too much. And I came to tell you that if you were the only one si tu es la on seule, earth, le Jesus would have died for you. Terre, you are too special. Tu es trop special. You are filled with anointing. Tu es plein you are powerful. Tu es and God has filled you. You got to believe it. Et tu dois Don't limit voir. God. Le the reason why you limit yourself is because you limit the great I am in you. If I know the great I am lives in me, I will not limit myself. Moi, je n'allais pas le limiter. David greatest secret. David avait un secret. Before Goliath. Devant Goliath. It is not his abilities that made him win over the life. It was not his skills. It was not his talent. It was the fact that he did not limit God. He said the God who delivered me from the lion and the bear. Let me tell you that sometimes you can be in a situation and you look at God. You make him sit. You the God that delivered me before. You will deliver me again. Ah, when God hears that, he begins to shake. He's like, I cannot disappoint my child. The moment you stop limiting God, he comes through. He shows up. David tells Goliath, the God that delivered me from the lion and the man will give me your head. Am I talking to you this morning? So they only knew Jesus as the healer. Ils ont connu Jésus rien que un guérisseur. Et ils ne l'ont pas connu comme le sauveur. Don't limit God. Ne limite pas Dieu. Just because he came to you Parce as Jehovah Jireh, it does not mean that he cannot come to you as Jehovah Nissi, as Jehovah Shama, as Jehovah Shalom. He is able and capable. And he doesn't disappoint. Et il ne te soit jamais. Have enough faith to say. Il faut avoir beaucoup de foi à dire. And say, Lord, I may not understand. Et dis, Seigneur, je ne comprends pas. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. Des fois, ça ne donne pas sens. But I trust you. Mais je te crois. Je te fais confiance. Je te fais confiance. Have you ever been in a situation where? Es-tu déjà dans la situation où? You expected God to stop something, but He didn't. Tu attends Dieu d'arrêter quelque chose, mais il ne fait pas. You expected God to show up and did que Dieu puisse apparaître mais il n'est pas venu. And you are telling God why me? Et tu dis Dieu pourquoi? God is telling you why not you? Et je te dis pourquoi pas toi? Why not you? Pourquoi pas toi? Can I can I open something? Est-ce que je peux ouvrir quelque chose? Sometimes you can ask God for wisdom. De fois tu peux demander à Dieu la sagesse. But he will give you problems. Mais il te donne des problèmes comment? For you to exercise the Pour que tu puisses exercer cette sagesse. I asked God to use my marriage. J'ai demandé Dieu d'utiliser mon mariage. And he gave me a trial. Et il m'a donné des So that tomorrow my marriage can be what? Pour que demain mon mariage devienne un témoignage. No, no, let's let's be clear. 
soyons clairs. Let's not camouflage things. Faut pas, on you ne ask God camoufler. for certain things. Tu demandes Dieu quelque but chose. you want it to be microwaved. Very quickly. Comment, tu veux Very easy. Le How many times do you want that? I want that. Combien de fois nous l'avons voulu? Moi, j'ai voulu ça. Dieu sait que there are certain things you can only learn que tu apprends when you go through the storm. Tu penses, tu passes dans la tempête. Don't limit God. Ne limite pas Dieu. Don't let your situation limit God. Ne laisse pas ta situation limiter Dieu. You are asking God to make it easy. Tu demandes à Dieu de faire les choses trop faciles. Easy come, easy go. Les choses faciles qui viennent, ça part aussi vite. My marriage was not easy come and it will not be easy go. Mon mariage n'a pas été Am I talking to somebody? Yes, that breakthrough did not come easy in your life. It will not come easy. The problem is the roots. Le problème c'est la racine. There's no way you can just uproot a tree. Il n'y a pas moyen de tirer juste le plant qui prend ses racines en Dieu. So that means you must make sure. C'est-à-dire tu dois tu dois te rendre compte. That what you ask God for. Ce que tu demandes à Dieu. Is rooted in Him. C'est trop raciné en lui. So that when the storm comes. Et quand la tempête vient. It is not easily broken. Ça ne sera pas déraciné. It is not shaken. Ça ne sera pas poussé. Don't limit your God. Ne limite pas Dieu. We want God to stop a certain situation in our life. Let me tell you that God was able to stop Jesus from going to the cross. Jesus even asked him, Lord, if it's possible, remove this cup away from me. But God says, my son, there is no crown without the cross. And I came to tell somebody today, there is no crown without the cross. He says, carry your cross and follow me. Carry that pain and follow me. Can God trust you with that problem? Est-ce que Dieu peut te croire dans ce problème? Peut te faire confiance. Peut te faire confiance dans ce problème. God doesn't do things just for the sake of doing. Dieu ne fait pas des choses juste pour faire. Amen. And John 11 verse 4. Can you give it to me very quickly? En Jean 11 4. John 11 verse 4. The Bible says. When he heard this, Jesus said, "The sickness will not end in what? In death." La Bible dit quand il a entendu, il a dit cette maladie ne va pas finir par la mort. It is for God's glory. C'est pour la gloire de Dieu. Sometimes you may be going through a situation. De fois nous passons dans la situation. And you're not understanding that God wants to create glory. Et tu ne comprends pas que Dieu veut créer la gloire. When you're baking a cake. Quand tu es en train de cuire un gâteau. No no no. When you are baking a cake. Quand tu es en train de faire un gâteau. You you take flour. Tu prends la poudre. And sugar. At that moment, does it make sense? And wheat and all these things, you cannot eat them by themselves like that. It will make more sense when it's made. It will make more sense when the cake is done. I'm telling you, it will make more sense when you are out of the storm. It will make more sense when you finish the valley. David says, even when I walk in the valley of the shadow, and the, a lot of times we don't walk. We tend to dwell. I am not what I'm going through. I may be going through pain, but I'm not pain. Am I talking to you this morning? I may be going through troubles, but I'm not trouble. It is just season after season. After a season, my story shall be different. Can you tell your neighbor my story shall be different? Yes, my story shall be different. God doesn't see things the way we see. The disciples saw death. Martha and Mary saw death. They felt like it was over. There's nothing else. Jesus healed. He, he, he opened the Red Sea. The walls of Jericho. All these miracles, they forgot. Because they thought death was the worst. I came to tell you that God is able to defeat what is tormenting you. I came to tell you that God is able to make a way where everybody in the world are going crazy. God gives you peace. While I'm going through the storm, I will never understand this. People were more troubled than me, the concern. You know why? Because I do not find my peace in the world. I find my peace in Christ. I came to tell you that find your peace in Christ. Even through the storm, you can still smile. Even through the storm, you can still praise Him. Even through the storm, you can still put a dance to it. And I go to Majabu. They asked me, are you able? I said, is he able? 
C'est lui qui est capable. Non, 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 non. They asked me. Ils m'ont demandé. Are you able to perform? Est-ce que tu es capable de Are you de, able de to minister? Tu es capable With de rendre ministère. With everything you are going through, are you able? Chose que je I looked at them and said, Et je demandé, Is he able? Est-ce qu'il est capable? I, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It's just partie. all part of the plan, somebody. Your problem is plan. part of the plan. It may look like humiliation, but it's part of the plan. It may look like it's breaking you, but it is part of the plan. You may feel like I want to throw in the towel. I want to give up. I can't do this no more. Don't give up. It's all part of the plan. You will understand it when the cake is baked. Amen. Amen. There are certain levels in life. Il y a d'autres niveaux dans la vie. Certain things that you can obtain in life. Que tu peux obtenir dans la only vie. after. Si, juste après. Only through. Juste après. Through. Dans. Through. Au travers. Dans. Au travers. Manna can only fall in the desert. La man ne peut que tomber dans les déserts. Ah, 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 am I talking to somebody? Manna can only fall in the la desert. La man ne peut que tomber dans les déserts. There are certain things you will acquire in life. Il y a des choses life. que tu demandes dans la only vie. Only if you are Quand going through the storm. Si tu traverses. Don't tu miss traverses, the point. La, la Some people are going through certain things. Beaucoup de gens tra- traversent certaines and situations. And after they go through it, et après ça, you ask them what did you learn? Tu leur demandes qu'est-ce que tu they as appris? They learned nothing. Ils n'ont rien. You got to learn something. Tu dois apprendre quelque chose. Not all storms come to interrupt. Pas, Some of them come to lead you to where you need to be. I'm saying some storms don't come to interrupt you. Some storms Certains come and take you from one place to where you have to be. Sometimes God will do what you don't understand in order for you to leave what you will later understand. Amen. You want elevation? Tu veux l'élévation? Uh, the pastor was preaching about uh, uh, the Quand success, the secret of success. Du secret de, 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 du succès. Are you ready for success? Est-ce que tu es prêt pour le success succès? is heavy. Le succès est lourd. Glory is heavy. La gloire est lourde. Are you able? Est-ce que tu es because success and elevation Parce que le succès et comes with its battles. Vient avec ses batailles. Are you ready? Est-ce que tu es prêt to leave those de battles? De, ces ba- ces Are you able? Est-ce que tu es prêt? And for me, Et pour moi, the secret of success le secret du succès, is preparation. C'est la Get ready for the miracle you pray for. Get ready for the breakthrough you pray for. When it comes, are you still going to be in the position to trust God no matter what? Jesus, who was 100% God, 100% man. The Bible said that at 12 years old, he was in the synagogue. He was in the church with old people asking them questions. You know why? He was getting ready. He was getting ready. And you want to be a millionaire. You're not getting ready. You want marriage. You're not getting ready. Especially that one. I'm not going to go deeper on that one. Amen. Your roots. The reason why you get something. La raison pour laquelle tu reçois quelque chose will also be the reason why you will stay with it. Sera aussi la raison pour laquelle tu vas garder cette chose. I felt that one. Je sens cela. Difficulties come for a purpose. Le difficulté vient pour un but. Don't miss the lesson learned when you go through this. Ne faut pas rater la, la leçon quand tu passes dans quelque chose. Some situations will happen to you. D'autres situations peuvent arriver. God wants to see how desperate you are Dieu of Him. Dieu veut te voir. God felt like you were too far away. Let me create a certain situation so that he draws you near to him. Ah, the woman that was losing blood, she did not limit Jesus. She said, if only I can touch. Jesus was rubbing shoulders with people. He was receiving. He was rubbing shoulders, rubbing shoulders. He said, "Bousculé." Avec les gens, eh, yes, we are. They were not receiving their miracle. But that one woman who was expecting, she told to herself, "You must be able to tell to yourself." You don't tell yourself because you are limiting the great I am in you. 
You are limiting yourself. Tu te limites toi-même. Because you are limiting. Parce que tu limites. The great I am that lives in me. Je suis qui est en toi. She said. Elle a dit. No, I believe. Je crois. Strongly. That if I can touch the edge of his garment, I will be healed. Je serai guéri. You will live a glorious life. Tu vas vivre une vie glorieuse. The moment you stop limiting God. Au moment où tu commences, tu tu arrêtes de limiter. John chapter 5 verse 1 to 9. Can we read it very quickly? Jean 5 1 à 9. Very quickly, John. Jean. Chapter 5. 5. From verse 1 to 9. Verset 1 à 9. Media, help me. This is a story of a man that was at the pool of Bethesda. C'est l'histoire de l'homme qui était euh, à la piscine de Bethesda. And he did 38 years. Il a fait 38 ans. 38 years 38 at the pool of Bethesda. La de and Bethesda. I want you to see something with me. Amen. Amen. Let us read very quickly. You need to go. La Bible dit, après cela, il eut une fête de juifs et Jésus monta à Jérusalem. Some time later, Jesus went to Jerusalem for a Jewish festival. Now it is in Jerusalem, near the sheep gate, a pool which was, uh, which was in Aramaic and called Bethesda. Amen. Can we go forward? Or à Jérusalem, près de la porte de Prévy, il y avait une piscine qui s'appelle en hébreu Bethesda et qui a here, here is a great number of disabled people and they used to just lay there. Amen. The blind, the lame, the, pa the paralyzed. Il y avait de paralysés, de, de, de aveugles. Sur ces portiques étaient couchés en grand nombre de malades, de aveugles, de boiteux, de paralytiques qui attendaient le mouvement de l'eau. Amen. When Jesus saw a, a man, okay, one, uh, one who was there had been there for 38 years. Et celui qui était là était là pendant 38 ans. And Jesus saw him. Et Jésus l'a vu. Laying there, and he, he went to him. Il était couché là et Jésus s'est approché de lui. And Jesus could see that he's been here for a long time. Oui, when Jésus he was pouvait man. voir que celui-là il a traîné là-bas. Sir, Jésus a dit, Monsieur. Amen. Amen. Ah, 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 ah. Let's go back to six. When Jesus saw him lying there, he learned that he had been there in this condition for a long time. He asked him, "Do you want to be made well?" Jésus l'a envu coucher et sachant qu'il était malade depuis longtemps, lui dit, "Veux-tu être guéri?" He said, uh, "I've been here for a long time. Nobody to help me." Was that the question that Jesus asked? C'était ça la question que Jésus avait posée. Can we stop right there? Est-ce qu'on peut s'arrêter d'abord là? Jesus asked him, Jésus lui a posé, Do you want to be healed? Être guéri? Do you believe that I can heal you? That was the true question. And he starts telling God stories. Et il à dire des no, à Dieu. I've been here tu for a very long time. Jesus and many times in life, God is asking you, Do you believe I can pull you out of that trouble? And you are like, No, God, we suffer from this. The whole family, we suffer from this. Our family, nobody Notre is famille, rich. Personne n'est riche. In our family, Dans notre the firstborns don't get married. Les, les ne se pas. In our family, Dans notre famille, the lastborn has to die at 30. Les à 30 ans. And you find that normal. Et tu ça normal. That's not the question Jesus Ce asked. Pas la que Jesus, Jesus asks you, do you Jesus believe dit, that I am the lawbreaker? I can cut off the laws that were held against you. Am I talking to somebody this morning? Ah, don't tell your problem. Don't tell God how big your problems are. Tell your problems how big your God is. This man, this man, he started giving stories to Jesus. I've been here for 38 years. I don't know any person Jesus did not ask that. Can you go straight to the point? When Jesus asks you what you want, can you stop limiting God? Can you stop tying God's hands? This guy tied Jesus' hands. Because he thought that Jesus would throw him in the water. He got his miracle dry. He got his miracle dry. No, 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 no. He got his miracle dry without jumping into the pool. Oh, il a trouvé son miracle sans faire des efforts. When you believe, Quand tu crois, God will not show up the way people think he will show up. Dieu ne peut pas se montrer de la manière dont that situation that looks like, cette situation qui it just à, looks like, ça but à, God has a different plan for you. Ah, let me tell you, if God can raise si Lazarus from the dead, the Bible says that he was rotten. Il était, il a, il 
il était pourri. Il, était il sentait. Il était en train de sentir. He was smelling. Il sentait. Amen. Now, what situation in your life is smelling? What situation in your life is rotten? And you feel like this one there's no hope. I came to give somebody hope this morning. There is still hope for you this morning. I came to tell you that as long as you are alive, there is still hope for you. Amen. Hallelujah. And if God can forgive the adulterous woman, the Bible says that people took stones ready to stone her and everybody was there no, I and, and the Bible says Jesus went down on, on the floor and he began to write the Bible did not tell us what Jesus was writing but I'm going to interpret it for you he was writing her story he was saying it's not over until I say so I'm the God of second chances no, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not the God of second chances I'm the God of third chances I'm the God of fourth chances I'm the God of fifth chances you may feel like no I'm too bad I'm too bad God is telling you this morning there's no situation that is too smelly for God. There's no situation that is too difficult for God. Yes, maybe you got children out of wedlock, but he's still trying to write your story. Maybe you are waiting for that miracle. He's still writing for your story. Maybe you sinned and people wanted to stone you. I came to tell you that he is still writing your miracle. He's writing your story. People think it's over for you. But God is saying, I'm just beginning. Do you believe that God is writing your story? You may not understand it. Somebody will say, Sister Deborah, you will not understand. I don't have to understand. He does. He does. You need to participate in your own miracle. You need to cooperate with your own miracle. You're asking God for a job, but you're not looking for one. How do you want the miracle to come? You want God to fix your marriage but in the house room. You got to talk things through. Talk things through. You want to be, I don't know, you want to be a millionaire but you don't save. You don't save. And I, I was talking to my husband and he said, if you have a million dollars and you take a one dollar out of the million, you're not more a millionaire. You're no longer a millionaire. Save! And that's something I've learned. That's something I've learned. Amen. We need to learn how to save in order to be millionaires. Sometimes we are our own problems. We are our own problems. We tie God all by ourselves. We tie the hand of God all by ourselves. You want a miracle, you want to be healthy, but in your room there's full of junk food, junk food. You are suffering from a certain disease and the doctor is telling you to respect a certain diet, but you are not. You want to have a bachelor's degree, but you spend more time on TikTok than your books. You want to be a powerful man of God and all you do is to know who did what, who said what and you don't spend time meditating. Let me ask you, when was the last time you read your Bible? When was the last time you read your Bible? Some of you, you don't even know where your Bible is. You don't even know where your Bible is. And I see someone saying it, that's me. No, 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 the word of God La, la parole de Dieu is a two-edged sword. Amen. Une épée à double and I want you to find yourself in this marriage. Je in this in, I love marriage. Amen. Amen. I love marriage. I love marriage. Amen. I love marriage. I love my marriage. Woo, God is good. Amen. You need to find yourself in this matter. If you can find it in God's word, you can find it in your world. Should I say it again? If you can find it in God's word, you will find it in your world. I had a remedy and I found it in the word. Yes, God, this situation is too big for me. But what does your word say? That's why it is very important. 
important for a child of God to know the word. When a situation appears in your life, instead of you sending doubt to answer to the door, you send faith to send to the door. You say, doubt came to me. That pain came to me. What should I do? Don't listen to the world. They go with the wind. Don't listen to your friends. They go with the wind. What does God say about your situation? What does God say about that marriage? What does God say about your children? What does God say about your business? Yes, your business looks rotten like Lazarus. But I came to tell you that God says, I will raise it up. It is still able to work out. Am I talking to somebody this morning? I do not know and I don't care what is not working. You are looking at a person who was hopeless. You are looking at a person that was going through depression. And I found my, my spinal cord on the word of God. And the only time the devil will come to you is when you are weak. And you begin to hear voices. Voices you never used to hear, you start hearing them. Things you did not believe, you start believing. And let me open this for you. The reason why Jesus said that Lazarus was asleep, he was not because he was truly asleep, he was dead, but he did not want to confess death. And sometimes you go in a situation, God is like, the devil is waiting for you to say something. I came to tell you the best response when you're going through the storm. Just cry out to God. Don't say anything negative. Because the devil is waiting for you to say, I give up. For you to say, what is this? I've been praying for too long. I gave my life to God at a young age. Why did God allow me to go through this situation? Give it silence. Give it silence. Let's go. In, in, there's a book, there's a story in the Bible. Il y a une histoire dans la Bible. Give it to me, media. Jesus went, uh, he was with the disciples. Jésus était avec le disciple. Let us go to the other side. Allons sur l'autre mm. Let us go to the other side. Allons sur l'autre Let us go to the other side. Allons sur l'autre Amen. Amen. Can you give it to me, media, please? Est-ce que vous pouvez me donner? Let us go to the other side. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna brief it very quickly. Amen. Jesus was with the disciples. Jésus était avec le disciple. And he said, let us go to the other Il side. A dit, sur he did not tell them the weather. Il n'a pas dit aux disciples le climat. He did not tell them that something will happen Il in between. Dit aux disciples que quelque chose va se passer. He just said, let, let us go to the other side. God will give you the promise Dieu va te donner la promesse without telling you what you have to go through dans quoi tu vas traverser. because he would know that you will not go Parce qu'il sait que tu ne vas pas comprendre. the tu moment ne vas pas. Jonas knew that he had to serve he started running away he needed to do something il voulait faire quelque chose. and he started running away because Et God a gave him a glimpse of Je lui a donné juste what he had to go through extrait. Let me tell you, God will show you exactly what you're praying for, but he won't tell you the weather, and the disciples climbed, they were all happy, I'm sure they were having conversations, eating beignets, eating I don't know what, amen, that day in the evening came and said to the disciples, let us go to the other side, continue. Amen. Leaving the crowd behind, they took along him Après just la foule, as he was in the boat. La barque, and there were also there lots with him. Keep going. A furious squall came, a furious storm. Furious, furious, un not a uh, 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 furious storm. And the waves broke. Et le flot dans la no, barque. the disciples saw death. Le disciple a vu la mort. And guess what? Jesus was sleeping. Nothing woke dormir. him up. Aucune chose ne l'a the only thing that woke Jesus up la seule chose qui a was the moment Jesus. he heard his name. Le où il son I nom. came to tell you that Je when you are going through that storm, the ce only ce thing that will wake Jesus up is when you call his name. Jesus, when you invoke him, the moment you say, Jesus, Jesus, I need you. I can't do this without you. That's when he's going to wake up. Now instead of you 
praying about it you are talking about it talking about it won't solve it go to the one that has a solution I, I, I'm saying go to the one that has a solution to your problem and Peter said uh, Jesus he's walking on water he's walking on water let me also he says Jesus if it's truly you because they thought he was a ghost sometimes God shows up in your life and you think it's a ghost no it's him it's him it's him oh yes it's him Jesus says okay come and Peter started walking and he started saying Whoa, I can walk Jesus I can walk and he was walking just fine the moment he looked against all odds he said what can, is this possible he started sinking when you look at the problem you will start sinking just keep looking at God it looks like something impossible but it's not God is able can you tell somebody next to you God is able God is able to turn a situation around what looks like something crazy God can make it something beautiful Quelque chose de très bon. de très bon. God can turn it into a miracle. Dieu peut ça en when the Bible says, la Bible I'm landing, that fight the good fight of faith. Que combat, le bon combat de la foi. Good fight, which fight is good? Quel combat est bon? Which fight is good? Quel combat est bon? It's good because it's already won. Bon ah, ah, I thought vaincu. you were going to get it. It's Je good because he's already won the battle. Bon he's just telling you, go through it, go through it, go through it, go through it. It's good because he already won it for you. Have you ever been in a basketball team or whatever, boxing, boxing game, and they tell you, oh, let me say, I, you know, I love to take revelation and everything. John Cena and and I don't know who, who else is it. Do you guys watch wrestling? Randy Orton. Uh, Randy Orton. There we go. Thank you. I used to watch wrestling. And they tell John Cena, let Randy hit you. Let him beat you. You're gonna bleed. Tu vas saigner. But that that belt is yours. Mais cette ceinture est à toi. You will win. You will still win. Tu vas toujours gagner. But just allow to be beaten. Mais permets juste qu'il te frappe. And that's what God tells you this morning. Et c'est ce que Dieu te dit ce matin. Allow to be beaten. Accepte d'être battu. But battue. just know that the battle has already tu been won. Tu vas savoir juste que la ah, bataille a déjà été gagnée. Allow to lose that job. They think they are humiliating you, but they are elevating you. Let me tell you, they are doing you a favor by gossiping about you. They are doing you a favor by putting you down. They are doing you a favor by all of them leaving you. God says, I don't want hypocrites next to you. I don't want hypocrites. When I bless you too much, I don't want somebody to poison you. That's why I will allow them to go. I'm telling you, I will allow you to be sick so that you know who truly loves you. I will allow you to lose that child so that when you get that child, it's going to be more of a testimony. Oh, I will allow you to go through this situation so that people will come to you and ask you, how did you do it? And I don't want any man to take my glory. I don't want somebody to say no it's because of me I don't want somebody to say no it's because I connected her to let me tell you something God is able to turn your situation around you need to stop limiting God you need to stop it with the small Jesus we don't serve a small Jesus he is big and yes he's bigger than your problem he's bigger than your trials he's bigger than your situation he's bigger than what you are facing he's bigger than what people say he is he is the great I am he is the king of kings he is the lord of lords your situation is not too big for him God will never scratch his head over your matter sometimes there are equations and people start scratching their head that's not my God he will never scratch his head over your matter Ah, God knows what he's doing he knows where he's taking you he knows why you have to go through what you're going through 
Am I talking to you this morning? Que je te parle ce matin? God knows what he's doing. Dieu sait ce qu'il est en train Stop de faire. lamentating. Arrête de lamenter. You can cry for a moment, yes. Tu peux pour un but moment. get up and dust yourself. Dust yourself and keep going. Et et dust yourself and keep going. Yes, they laughing at me, but I'll keep oui, going. Yes, I lost continue. one, two, three, oui, but I'll keep going. Because God is not Dieu yet done with me. It's time moi. for you to leave the life that Jesus Christ lived for. The life that Jesus Christ died for. You have to leave it. Jesus died on the cross. So that you can have life in abundance. And you are getting the meat. You are getting crumbs from work. You are going to be a millionaire. The first millionaire of your family should be you. Now you got to think big to be big. You got to come out of your comfort zone, somebody. You've been too comfortable for too long. For you to be different, you got to be different. Everybody telling me you should divorce, you should divorce. I want to be different. I'm not going to hear the world. And I came to tell you, stop hearing the world. What did God say on your matter? What did God say on your situation? Do you know my covenant with God? They don't know your covenant with God. It was your calling. It was not a conference call. They don't know what God told you when he called you. It just not happened that way. When God said it to me, you were not there. So you will not know my breakthrough unless you know my pain through. You will not understand my breakthrough. This year has been the most difficult year of my life. But at the same time, the most rewarding. I'm saying the most somebody praise God for me the most rewarding while I'm going through the storm he's blessing me while I'm going through the storm I buy the house am I talking to you this morning let people not understand they don't need to understand you they don't need to understand why you feel in this church they don't need to understand yes. somebody asked me are you still with that husband of yours yes they won't understand the assignment God gave you tell your neighbor I got an assignment I got an assignment you won't understand my breakthrough because you don't know my pain through Ah, I will not limit my God because of a situation I'm facing. You want a miracle, you want great things. And but the problem is you want to find out about Olivier. You, you, you want to find out how. You are interrupting God by trying to find out. Uh, yes, so, you know, 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 you want God to show you how to do it? Demande le schéma. You want him to show you his greatness? Demande sa grandeur. You want him to show you the, 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 the particles he has to put together for, puzzle, le for le you to believe? Qui, qui doit mettre pour que tu crois. Blessed is he Béni est celui who believes before seeing. Can you just believe? Est -ce que juste croire? Just believe that juste he's able. Est capable. But how are you going to do it? So I'm just, I'm, I'm just following up God. I know you said I would get married, but I'm 35. God says the how is none of your business. Your job is just to believe that it's going to happen. It may look like it's too late for others. Sarah thought it was too late. Sarah thought it was too late. God tells her, God tells her next year, at the same time, you will have a child. And guess what? Sarah limited God and she left. Because she limited God. Stop laughing at God when he tells you one thing. Stop laughing at God when he's calling you, he's calling you mighty man of Ella. Stop limiting God when he's calling you man of God. Stop limiting God when he's telling you that you will serve me. Stop laughing at God when he says that you will prophesy. Stop laughing at God when he says that I will use you powerfully. When he tells you that I will use your marriage. Forgive me, please. 
The best preaching in life is your own life. Le, 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 it's le not meilleur, the Bible. La de, God allows you to go through quand, something so that you can tell somebody, I've been through it. Dieu veut que tu dises à I wanted to be a marriage counselor and God says, I answered your prayer. Je être une de et Dieu a dit, répondu you à like to prière. organize marriage conferences, Je isn't it? There is the biggest battle a marriage can ever go through. Preach it. Preach. And God is giving you that problem. People may laugh at you. But God wants you to preach it. God wants you to be the testimony and not to have the testimony. I want you to expect great things. Because God never lies. He always comes through. It's not your faith that matters. He's the one in whom you have faith in that matters. Can you stand up on your feet where you are? It's not your faith that matters. Is it, it, it is in whom you have faith in. Who do you believe in? He comes up to the blind man. He says, do you believe I'm able to heal you? And God is asking you a question this morning. Do you believe I'm able to get you out of that trouble? Do you believe I'm able to bless you? Do you believe I'm able to give you that marriage? I'm able to give you that child? I'm able to restore your business? Your business was dead. Do you believe I'm able to restore you even after you have fallen? Somebody open up their mouth and say, God, I want to stop limiting you. Help me, God. Help me, God. Can you lift up your hands in the air? Ah, uh, lift up your hands in the air. Lift up your hands in the air and say, God, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm stopping to limit you. I know, Lord God, sometimes you don't come through when I want you to come through. And I get so tired and desperate and I limit you, God. But how dare me, how dare me, how dare me limit the King of Kings? How dare you limit the God to whom nothing is impossible? Somebody pray where you are. Can I get the keys higher than that, somebody? Can I get the keys higher than that? Can you begin to pray? And maybe watching me online, God had this word for you. God had this word for you. Stop limiting me, my child. It may look ugly. Maybe it doesn't make sense to you. Maybe it pains you. He is saying, yes, I know. It has to hurt for it to be glorious. Gold needs to go through fire for it to shine, for it to be gold. You're not going to be called what God wants you to be called if you don't go through what he wants you to go through. Somebody pray where you are. Yes. I want to stop limiting you, Lord. I want to stop limiting you, Lord. Yes, God can hear your prayers. Can I get the basket in front very quickly? And at the same time, I want you to offer to God. At the same time, I want you to offer a, a prophetic offering unto God. And say, God, I'm giving this in sign of recognition that you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, and above. Can I, can, can I get the ashes to bring me the basket forward? And this is offering time. Sometimes we need to stop doing routine. Amen. And if you are watching me online, the media is putting shell, ketchup, and whatever it is. I want you to just tap into your faith. I want you to believe that Jesus is asking you, what do you want me to do for you? Can we offer unto the Lord very quickly? Can you grab that something? Whatever it is, whatever it is you have. Fifty dollars, a hundred dollars. You know what? There's a cash up. Give me that cash up account. The cell. There's cash. The, the, the ashes are going around with the envelopes. I want you by faith. Sometimes you need to be like Peter. Come out of your comfort zone. You used to give $10. This time give 50 Yes. In sign to show God. 
that I'm not giving because I have. I'm giving because I'm putting you to the test. I'm giving because I believe you are able to give it back a hundredfold. Can you offer unto the Lord while you are praying? You are prophesying over your offering. Don't just give your offering for the sake of giving. Hallelujah. Don't just give it. Come forward, somebody. Come forward. Come forward, please. Come and offer to your God. Yes, the basket is right here on my right. And if you're watching me online, God bless you. May God favor you. May God come through for you. May God see you through in that situation. May He restore you. Yes, you may cry all night, but I came to tell you that joy comes in the morning. Yes, you may. It may come when you didn't want him to come, but it was exactly what God wanted. God bless you. God restore you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Can you give a mighty hand to Jesus? Hallelujah. Alléluia, est-ce que tu peux encore exagérer Tu peux encore acclamer pour le Seigneur Tu peux acclamer pour la parole de Dieu Tu peux acclamer, oui, exagère encore, exagère encore, exagère encore Alléluia, Alléluia.